Hello and welcome back again to another amazing episode. My name is Hayford. If you don't know who I am, I'm a content creator, a cinematographer, and this is the Diaspora Transition episode where we interview people who move back from the diaspora and currently living here in Ghana and doing some amazing things. So on this episode, we have here with us someone very special. He goes by the name Zaylak. Welcome on the show, man. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Madasipa. 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 Wow. Thank you so much. So, oh, for no those watching who don't know who you are, can mm -hmm. you briefly introduce yourself? To oh, of people? course. Okay. Zaylock23, aka Wise Locks, man. AKA Africa for the Africans, man. Yeah, yeah. We here. Um, originally born in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And then I came into some certain wisdom, some certain knowledge, some certain understanding. And you see me over here in Ghana. West Africa, okay? I'm a farmer, um, I'm an author, I've written two books, I almost finished my third one, shh, shh. all right? Um, I'm an owner of land here in wow. Ghana. Wow. Um, and we're actually building a three-story building, mm -hmm. and the bottom is gonna be conference area, Pan-African mm -hmm. Library. Wow. Um, I've been coming to Ghana on and off for the last seven, eight years, wow. but last year, you could pretty much say I'm in in now. So wow. I, I go to America to visit and I live here now. Wow. That is beautiful. <laughs> Welcome home, bro. Yeah, thank you. So why Ghana, though? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people in the diaspora mm -hmm. think Africa is this, you know, hungry children and everything. Yes. But you said, no, mm -hmm. Africa is home. Of course. And I'm here. Of course. I'm coming to the motherland. Of course. And you didn't choose any country, but you chose Ghana. Ghana. Why? The first thing I would tell you is that before you move to another country, right. It's very good to have a solid network okay. of people that you already know. Okay. To be honest, if you're from Atlanta, you know mm -hmm. that Atlanta is kind of like the Wakanda of the states. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's like straight from Atlanta, mm -hmm. people come straight into Ghana. Okay. And I know a lot of people that's mm -hmm. here in Ghana mm -hmm. that I knew back in the states, back okay. in Atlanta. Oh, wow. So it's really my strong network okay. because every human being is a library. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. has so much information. Mm -hmm. And imagine me, even though I could go to a country, even though I might not know somebody there and I could find my way, mm -hmm. but imagine that fire already burning there mm -hmm. and I just add my yeah. fire onto that fire yeah. instead of me trying to kindle my own. Right. Uh -huh. wow. You understand? Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. Yes. That is nice. So, you knew people here in Ghana before moving to Ghana. Oh yeah, most definitely. Did that help you in any way? Oh yeah, most definitely. Shout out to Habisha. Shout okay. out to Baba Kashan, man. He, he even helped me with my visa getting over here. So, yeah, yeah most definitely. Wow. Um, just having that solid network. Now, let me ask, tell me this. Mm -hmm. When you told your family that, listen, I'm going to Ghana, I'm mm -hmm. going to Africa, mm -hmm. how did they respond to it? To be honest, everyone supported it. I mean, like, wow, they really? wasn't like, oh, like, da, 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 da. Yeah, because they knew for a long, I was talking about Africa for a long, long time. time. How did it start? How did I start? Wow, great question. It wow. started when I was actually, uh, I was in university, mm -hmm. and I had got a thought in my mind. Okay. I was like, I see all these different people on the planet. I see Chinese man, I see the white man, I see uh, African people, I see Asian, I see Indian, I see mm. all these different colors and complexions of human beings, but I was like, who was here first though? Like, right. out of all these people, okay. uh -huh. wow. so I went into my dorm room, Wow. You I literally see. went to google.com, Wow. and I typed, who was the first <laughs> human being on the planet, I swear, and everything from then, you got... I'm over here wow. in Africa now, baby. Wow. I'm over here in Africa. Wow. Yeah, I started getting to Kemet. I started getting to uh, Israelite. Mm -hmm. I started getting into, you know, just 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 understanding that that transatlantic mm -hmm. journey, mm -hmm. that 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 middle passage, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The uh, Maafa, mm -hmm. right? Uh huh. So that's really why I'm here right now, and okay. that's how I became conscious. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Did you have any kind of um, stereotype before moving to Africa, though? The stereotype, like yeah. oh, like any preconceived oh, yeah. notions of right. what I think Africa right. might have been. And then did you get uh, disappointed or you were, you know, surprised when you got here? Okay, okay. Um, I would say the first time I came to Africa, like I said, it was like seven, eight years ago. Right. And when I first, first came, of course, I'm raised in the American cultures. Right. So coming over here into Africa, it's a total different environment. Mm -hmm. So let me be honest with you, slightly. It was a slight okay. bit of a culture. Okay. When my first, first okay. time, so culture I stuff. was like, whoa, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The languages and yeah. the da da da. Wow. Like, yeah, like I had to adjust to it. Even okay. the foods, like wow. my body had wow. to adjust to the foods, wow. things like that. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. But as time went on, mm. of course, I adapted to my environment and I'm like, had I not been taken away, this is, this would have been my way. Yeah. So I need to come into this way. Wow. 
Wow. Yes. Wow. That was powerful. <laughs> <That's> powerful. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yes. that's fine. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Had I not been taken away, I would have been in wow. the indigenous uh -huh. So let me brush off all of that. You are your eyes are open to all this beautiful oh, yeah. things here. Most Africa. definitely. What are you seeing that me as an Ghanaian uh -huh. doesn't don't see? Uh -huh. What are you seeing? What am I seeing? To be honest with you, mm -hmm. we need better infrastructure, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, when when foreign dignitaries and people come into say uh, a representative from I don't know London or mm -hmm. a representative right. from China, mm -hmm. they come into Ghana and they're looking at what is the black man and black woman doing here? Exactly. Oh, okay, I see that. I mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, mm -hmm. but yeah, just really, my first thing would be the roads, the wow. infrastructure. The mm -hmm. roads got to be correct mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's not even just oh I'm looking fancy, but it's also for safety measures right. too. Right. It's big uh, uh, eighteen wheelers and big yeah. you know trucks. They be carrying huh, just. I, I would say just the potholes, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, that would be really my main thing is okay. the roads. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That I would say if I was the president of Ghana, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. Blessings. So if you have the chance to change <laughs> something about Ghana, what would that be? The infrastructure. Wow. I would do that first and foremost wow. and create more jobs. Wow. Yes, but first and foremost, the infrastructure. Wow. Most definitely. Wow. I yes. like that. Now, a lot of Americans are moving. Yes. Like yourself. I've interviewed a lot. Alita. I've interviewed mm -hmm. Judah and other, other folks moving. Yes. And they are preaching. They said, listen, mm. U.S. is going down. Oh, <laughs> fire upon them, you know. Because imagine, imagine me planting a cucumber seed right. and I get a watermelon. Mm, or yeah. imagine me planting an orange seed. And I get an apple tree. Right. So if you look at the seed that America planted, imagine like what you think America is going to be fruitful mm -hmm. when the seed was wicked. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, no, no, that that tree is coming down. Wow. It's coming down wow. with force wow. and by nature. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, so we're just, you know. Wow. So yeah. you chose Ghana over America. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. I chose yeah. Africa over if America. If someone is watching Straight right up. now. Yes. Convince that person to. OK. Why you chose Ghana. Okay, yeah, most definitely. First and foremost, mm -hmm. I would say use your time wisely. Use your time wisely. If you're about it, about it, all right? Not everyone has that mind to where they've tapped into that into that spiritual space, okay? But if you're vibrating there with me, then you understand what I'm speaking into you right now, okay? What I would say is to get a thorough knowledge of your history. Don't go into the public school system and you're literally getting taught by the mm -hmm. same people that enslaved you yeah. in history. Yeah. And you think that you're going to get or you're going to capture all of the knowledge and the right and correct knowledge. No. The correct knowledge from the same people that did that to you historically, your historical enemy, if I can say so myself. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I would say just know yourself. And after that, you'll wow. be sitting right here next to me i promise you'll be, you'll be sitting in this in this seat i promise wow. the, yes. you are here yes you've seen all the up and up and down yes. challenges yes. trust me you under the shower the water goes off yes right yes. you've seen it all mm -hmm. how are you adapting what oh are how you am i adapting okay that's making you adapted okay that's making me adapt yeah. it, it's just my love for africa okay. it's just like no place is going to be perfect wow. the same thing like human being no human being is mm -hmm. i'm not perfect okay no one Nobody's is perfect, perfect. uh-huh yes. so it's the same place with you know like the same thing with the location mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right on the earth is that when you choose a location there's going to be this and there's going to be this mm -hmm. and you just have to find which place has more of this okay. than this okay and go with it okay yes but a lot of people americans are spoken to say there's too much negativity in mm. ghana where the people are focused on too much negative oh wow yeah the things that are not going uh, mm. right mm. and don't focus on what could be mm. what do you think about that to be honest right Ghana is voted one of the most peaceful countries yes. in Africa. Yes. It's voted one of the most peaceful, peaceful. countries. The second most peaceful. I think. Yes. Yes. The second most peaceful yes. country in Africa. Yes. I have found peace in here. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I've even found better health on a holistic 360 degree level because the energy that we share i like the spirit yes. of african people mm -hmm. more than i like the spirit in america wow. it's more independent in wow. america here it's more like have you eaten yeah. are you thirsty yeah do you know where you're going yeah. you know like it's more of a wow. uh, more of a community it's more of a village yeah i, yeah. Yeah, I think even health wise mm -hmm. it's just better for african people you know melanated people in america to be here wow. on a wow. on a holistic level wow. wow let's talk about the challenges you face what has been Three of the most greatest challenges you face so far. I saw you mm -hmm. building, okay. doing other. We'll get to that, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't okay. gonna make me think. Okay, okay, okay. The three most important challenges. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I mean, it's really just experiences. Mm -hmm. Um, challenges. It's it's kind of like uh, you know what I mean. But yeah. um, 
first and foremost, I guess I would say at times, mm -hmm. if you're coming here, I know you're hearing me speak English, but try to learn the tree, try to learn the God, try like whatever region mm -hmm. you're living in, try to learn the language as much as possible because not everyone here can mm -hmm. hear the English. Yeah. But when you come into your original language, like we need to be doing away with yeah. English anyway. <laughs> but when you come here, just try to learn the language. I would say that would be one of my okay. challenges okay. coming here mm -hmm. um, is that sometimes, yeah, that language barrier. They don't know, oh, your accent is deep. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would say uh, second, I would say, to be honest, that would maybe be my, my only one. I, right. I, can't, I can't name okay. you three. Okay, that is good yeah. though. But learn the language, please. That is good. So learning the language made it easy for you to adapt and then to mm -hmm. kind of speak to the people uh -huh. to understand what you mean. Is that what you said? Mesu ya chwa so, aha, mete tri, mete tri, aha, kakla kakla, aha, mesu ya, mesu ya, aha. So, mapao cho bra, aha, wusu ya, aha, yes. So, I normally, I normally say, when you came back, moved back seven years ago, yes. did you get to a point where you felt like, listen, I'm down with Ghana, I'm packing my bag, I'm leaving. I'm oh, most definitely. The USA. I was in a one bedroom apartment. Wow. I was on my couch. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was playing like, you know, some sort of song, like a reggae song or yeah. something. You know, they were talking about Africa and da, yeah. da, da. And I was really contemplating like my life. I was like, what do I really want to do with my life? Like, what do I want to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... I started thinking mm -hmm. and I was like, I got all of these connects in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know all of these people here. Mm -hmm. I know what I want to do. I want to buy land, build a house, mm -hmm. da da da, so I don't have to worry about mortgages and mm -hmm. electricity bill and water bill in the States. Let me come on over here. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, I've been here ever since, wow. man. And, wow. and please, like, do, do come. Wow. Know that bro, this is true freedom mm -hmm. in, in the States. I mean, you might feel like you're free, but trust me, like, wow. come over here and, and experience freedom. Africa. Yes, wow. true freedom. Wow. Yes. You are free in Ghana. Oh, I'm free. Are you comfortable? I'm free. Oh, <laughs> I'm free. Oh. Are you also comfortable? I'm comfortable. Yeah. Wow. I'm comfortable. Wow. Yeah, this is this is my home now. Wow. I visit the States. This is Ghana now. This is wow. my home. Yes. Do you think Ghana is better than the USA? Okay. Um, I would say that Ghana is its, its own respect. Mm -hmm. The USA is its own respect. Mm -hmm. But I would say that... Uh, the people who are governing America, mm -hmm. you know, fire blaze them because America, <laughs> you know, God made that land. There's nothing wrong with the land mm -hmm. itself, but mm -hmm. it's the people that's on that land. Mm -hmm. So I would say the governance in Africa mm -hmm. is, is better than, you know, what I mean, than the people that's in America. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, so, yeah, the land hasn't hurt nobody. You know, wow. what I mean, it's just the people that's running the mm -hmm. land of America. Okay. So in that respect, I would say Ghana is better, of course. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, normally I ask people this question. Where Ghana? If there's no more USA for you, mm -hmm. your, your American passport is not factor right now. Yes. You're given a Ghanaian passport. Yes. Do you think you'll still be able to live here? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, most definitely. Most really? definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I mean, America, mm -hmm. I mean, that's really just for, for traveling, mm -hmm. right? They even have different things to where you can even get dual citizenship yeah. to where even if I wanted the American, yeah. Yeah, I can still have the gun <laughs> and I can do my, you know, I can get my echo eyes, you know yeah, what I mean? I can yeah. get my little thing. Yeah. Hand. So, wow. yeah. So, so there's, there's more than one way to skin mm -hmm. a cat, for okay. sure. So, you, you've been here. You know everything. Yes. Mostly. Mostly. You've yes. experienced a lot. Yes. Yes. People there's still more to learn. A lot more to learn. Right. Yes. People are watching now. They mm -hmm. don't know what to do they yes. want to move back mm -hmm. what would be the three best advice for them example even you wish you knew some certain things before you moved to ghana yes I would say. yes give that advice to people before mm -hmm. they move back here okay three advice okay first and foremost make sure that as you're coming you are leaving the west behind mm -hmm. and you are coming to the best you are leaving the west and you're coming to the best leave all your american social conditioning your your american psychology leave that in america and come into ghana as if you was born in ghana like become a, a true ghanaian mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yes that's what i would say first okay. right the second thing that i would definitely say is finances family make sure that before you come if you have debit card credit card da 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 you alert your bank and let them know hey I'm going to be in this specific area. Mm -hmm. There's like a um, specific like travel thing that you can put on the car just to let them know so they don't think, oh, it's, it's a, a scam, okay. it's a fraud, mm -hmm. da, da, da. So they don't block your cards. But right. then also, MoneyGram is also your best friend mm -hmm. if you want to send money from the, from the states over here. And then third, I would say, have a plan. Like, know what you're doing here. Don't just come and just, oh, I'm in Ghana, da, da, da. But what is your contribution 
Okay. okay. To Africa. Okay. What What is your work? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Work mm -hmm. and play. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Those are my three advice. So you are saying they should come and create jobs, but not to look for jobs in Africa. Oh, most definitely. Definitely. Wow. Um, I would say if you're coming here, mm -hmm. do not look for jobs at all. Like, create your own source okay. of revenue. Okay. Yes. So with that being said, if someone want to move to the continent and mm -hmm. invest in any kind of business, mm -hmm. give them three business ideas. Mm -hmm. What kind of business can they do and make profit when they move to the continent? Okay. What I would say first is that sometimes as I'm as I'm uh, riding through Ghana, mm -hmm. I do see a lot of unfinished houses from okay. time to time, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I, when you're here in Ghana, mm -hmm. you have to build it brick by brick. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as the money comes, you're building it. You can even go into business where you're like, hey, I'll finish your house. But then, you know, you go into a contract, da, da, okay. da. And they pay you over time, mm -hmm. something like that, kind of like interest. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, also, what I would say, like you're watching YouTube right now, right. begin a YouTube channel. <laughs> begin a YouTube channel. It, it, it's, it's a very good you source of revenue. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like 23, man. Subscribe. So, like, put it out there. People, yes. I saw your videos. Yes. And you're doing great. You're yes. building, you're putting everything out there, you're yes. buying land. Yes. You're teaching people yes. what they have to do. Yes. Even before they move to the continent. Mm -hmm. If someone is watching and they are, you know, have a lot of questions, mm -hmm. they are looking for people to answer it. Mm -hmm. Put it out there. Okay. What you do on your channel and why they have to follow you. Okay. Most definitely. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, hold on. You know, let me, <laughs> you know hi. I'm Zay Life 23. <laughs> but yes, family, most definitely. Um, what I'm doing right now, it's all about Pan-Africanism. Mm -hmm. It's all about um, um, freeing melanin people's minds, um, developing Africa, um, bringing what I can contribute to Africa, also sharing the stories like you're doing right now with different people that may have already um, uh, come and mm -hmm. crossed the Atlantic, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also indigenous Ghanaians that was already here, you know, mingle with the people them. Um, Man, shoot, I'm farming, so, you know, if you want to learn yeah. agriculture, you want to learn all those things, come on over there. Um, we even took a little trip to Togo, Benin, and Nigeria. Wow. So we're traveling a little wow. bit, so if you want to wow. catch a little travel, wow. you know what I mean? <laughs> hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell, all right? All right? Man, don't disappoint me, man. <laughs> and you're growing so fast. Yes, you know? yes, yes. So go on there, go subscribe. I think you love it. There's already more than 100,000 people there. Trust me. Yes. You'd love the content. Join. So, um... We are here in Ghana, right? Yes. And uh, people move back. The females, especially. Yes. Americans. And yes. they're like, Ghanaian men are not good. Mm. I, I don't want to date here. Mm. I would rate Ghanaian men four over ten. I'm saying, listen. Mm -hmm. They are saying, listen, I want to hear it from the men. Mm -hmm. You are an American. Yes. Have you tried dating a Ghanaian woman? And what was the case? <laughs> to be honest, right now, I got a fiance. I'm going to oh, be honest wow. with you. Wow. Yeah, we've been planning to marry next year. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. wow. So what I would say is it's mm -hmm. all about the character of a human being. Mm -hmm. From my knowledge, right, mm -hmm. if, you, if you want a homie homie, because mm -hmm. there's some that's, oh, you know what I mean, they're, mm -hmm. they're here. Okay, but there's some that you bring in the house. There's some that you just kind of vibe up, da, da, okay. da. But the ones in the north, I mean, the ones in the Volta or the ones that just had that really good upbringing, mm -hmm. you just got to be choosy. Wow. It, it, like you shouldn't generalize a wow. whole people. Wow. You just got to find little gems and little diamonds mm -hmm. in that. Wow. <laughs> so wow. that's what I would so recommend. She's the, your missus to be is, is a native Ghanaian. Oh, yeah. Wow. She's Will native. You she's any... from north, Tamale. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Tamale. Will you advise your fellow black Americans who moved to Ghana to marry or date a Ghanaian? Most definitely. Most definitely. Let me be honest with you all. Mm. And and y'all y'all hear me very clear. Y'all know the generational trauma mm -hmm. that we've experienced mm -hmm. in our histories, mm -hmm. our mothers, mm -hmm. our fathers, mm -hmm. our grandfathers, mm -hmm. slavery. Mm -hmm leaving our tongues our cultures mm -hmm. there is a lot of trauma in black families wow. in america let wow. me be honest with yeah. you yeah uh -huh. there's a lot of trauma but when you come in over here to ghana majority i mean people are still in their culture you still know your languages yeah. you still know how to be husband mm -hmm. and wife mm -hmm. a woman know how to be a woman a mm -hmm. man know how to be a man mm -hmm. da -da -da. Mm -hmm. but like in the states it's a whole nother like oh yeah. we just do what we want oh I don't like how you just snore right there. Let's get a divorce. <laughs> I don't like how you left that toilet seat up. I'm through with you. Yeah. Like, that's how it is in the States. But wow. here in Ghana, they know about being wow. together and staying together. Wow. Yes. Wow. So I would wow. definitely recommend coming here. Wow. So you are here, right? Yes. Let's talk about what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on it. Let's, yes. Let's separate, you know, how do you call it? Put everything down. What okay. are you doing here? What uh -huh. have you been doing for the past seven years? And then mm. if people want to, you know, you know, with you uh -huh. get your help what do you have to do okay yeah so mainly my 
my main pro uh, project right now mm -hmm. is the uh, My Natural Roots Village. Okay. okay? It's located in Insawam, Ghana. Mm -hmm. Insawam is located in Eastern Region. Right. It's right outside of Accra. So mm -hmm. I can dip in the city if mm -hmm. I want to, and I can come out to the lush countryside if I want to, mm -hmm. okay? So basically, what we're doing right here is that we are creating actually kind of like how they had it in the States, kind of like an underground railroad, where mm -hmm. like if you was trying to escape slavery from the South, you would go up north past Pennsylvania, uh -huh, the um, Mason-Dixie line is what they call it, right? As long as you get past that line, you're so-called free, right? Wow. So I'm creating a space here in Ghana, right, to where people can come, mm -hmm. they can feel free, they can farm. I'm also, as I said, in the bottom, I'm creating a conference area. I mm -hmm. want to invite all of you all, the wow. great thinkers, like the Mosiah Garvey's, the Kwame Nkrumah's, the Ida B. Wells, the Maya Angelos, okay? The uh, Nanny of the Maroons, like all the revolutionaries. We're going to sit down. We're going to reason. We can have lecturers, documentary showings everything the house wow. is also going to be a slight little like kind of like a museum too wow we're going to have pictures and paintings and wow. everything it's going to wow. be dope so wow. that's what i'm creating here in wow. ghana that's my main project right now i also do tours okay right okay we have another tour group that's coming actually next month mm -hmm. september 6th through uh september 16th okay, okay. we're gonna come uh accra okay cape coast okay vibe up in volta Climb the tallest mountain in Ghana. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Apart to All right. Wow. You know, so I'm doing a number of wow. things. You so know what I mean? So how do, how do they contact you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So how can you contact me? Right. Basically, family, if you want to contact me, mm -hmm. I could provide my email. That's okay. the fastest way. I receive emails almost like a text message. Oh, like yeah. I got my notification. My email is mynaturalroots mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Mynaturalroots at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at wiselocks, W-I-S-E-L-O-C-K-Z. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then also, too, y'all know YouTube, Zaylock23. All right, you can reach out to me on that, too. Okay, so I'll put everything on the screen and also in the description so you don't mess it. Yes. Now, do you think it's possible to make it here in Ghana? Oh, I'm a living witness. I mean, I'm, I'm still breathing. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here right now. I mean, it's wow. more than possible. It, it's, it's like how you created in your mind. It's, it's like limitations is within you. Wow. But if you tapped into that inner God within you and you know that you're of the same source that created the moon, the stars, the ocean, the trees, the wind. Oh, you're unstoppable. Wow. So what advice do you have for the Africans who are on the continent mm -hmm. but doesn't believe they can make it here until they go to the USA, UK mm -hmm. and stuff? What advice do you have for them? What I would say is, it's nothing wrong with traveling. Right. Nothing wrong with traveling. Mm -hmm. But know that if you're leaving, who's going to be here mm -hmm. to develop? I mm -hmm. see like it's a lot of African, like mm -hmm. a lot of Ghanaian, Nigerian doctors, da, da, da. They're all going to the States and da, da, da. But why is that? Maybe because there's not necessarily jobs here or okay. maybe they think oh the grass is greener there but family like whatever they created there we can do it 50 yeah. times better here wow. all right and you will have complete jurisdiction complete ownership complete sovereignty over it wow man tell me the disrespect man i was over there and, man we've been over there for over 200 300 400 years wow. and you're telling me i can't get not one face mm -hmm. on the money mm -hmm. i see the george washington mm -hmm. the abraham lincoln's the the jefferson's mm -hmm. but when i come here to ghana wow my so goodness <laughs> i see all my face i'm like these are my people man this is me so that lets me know this is my country and yeah. i can i can put my energy yeah. and i can have that that nationalism wow i can have wow. the that but in the states i could't have mm -hmm. that sense of nationalism mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. Wow. Fourth of July. Oh, where was I? I was mm -hmm. picking cotton. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thanksgiving. Wow. Oh, dang. So we sitting here celebrating mm -hmm. these white folk genociding a whole race of people. Like, I can't celebrate American holiday. But here in Ghana, they got the Homo War mm -hmm. coming up. Festival. Uh -huh, yes. The God Festival mm -hmm. coming up. They got all kind of African festivals that's, that's, that, that symbolizes the strength mm -hmm. of the people that came before them. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So these are events that I can wholeheartedly. Yes support yes wow. so someone is <laughs> you watching know, right now yes and they say wow i'm convinced yes i want to come to ghana yes send your last message to them family know thyself mm. know thyself know thyself mm -hmm. naturally once you've come into that spiritual the physical will follow because mm -hmm. the physical comes from the spiritual the seen comes from the unseen so once you've mastered that spiritual and you've come into that place inside of yourself 
I ain't even got to say nothing. Just okay. know yourself and study yourself. Okay. Now, let's advise those Americans or diasporans who moved back but couldn't leave. Mm. They got so frustrated and left. Mm. If they want to come back again to the continent, what would be some advice for them? I would say you have to leave the West in the West. Okay. Like, if you're coming here... You know, and then also make sure that you have your finances in order, too. I know okay. that's why a lot of that's a lot of reason why a lot of people go back to the yeah. States. They be like, oh, you know, my money this and my money that. But you have to have a really good plan to where you can make money irrespective of your location on the planet. OK, that's the wisdom I can okay. give to you all okay. and, and come back and enjoy your continent. Okay. Wow. So if you should go back in time seven, eight years ago mm. and you are still given the chance to move to Africa, Ghana, will mm. you take it or leave it? Oh, Ghana, straight up. Wow. Straight up. So you have no regrets? No regrets at all. Wow. No you regrets. Think everything has been worth it for you so far? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Everything wow. is cool. Everything wow. is blessed, you know. Yeah, Thank I'm getting along so great. I mean, what? I mean, we on the ocean right now, you know what I mean? We eating good. Wow. I mean, we chilling good. You're preaching. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just, beautiful here, right? Yeah. Oh, man. It's a me. AFA, AFA pa, AFA pa. Now, I want you to send some message to the people. Mm. I had people saying, listen, you're saying black Americans should move back to Africa, mm. saying we are all Africans. Mm. I'm not an African. Mm -hmm. I live in the USA. I'm native to the USA. Mm. What do you have to say to somebody like that? Oh, okay. I would say, first and foremost, yeah. even if you're so-called American, mm -hmm. okay, who has the power in that country? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Regardless of what you may think, we know this is a fact that Africa is predominantly yeah. it's a black continent. Right. Let's be honest. Yeah. Is it easy for a black man or black woman to ascend presidency in the states? No. Is it easy for us to ascend in 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 into uh, 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 consume absolute power mm -hmm. in the states? Let's go where the power lies. Okay. okay. Regardless of what you think you are, let's go where the power lies. Mm -hmm. And the power lies in Africa. You can find your power here. Wow. There is no ceiling. Wow. But there is a ceiling in America. Wow. You can see the Black Wall Street bombed mm -hmm. it. The Rosewood in Florida messed it up. I mean, oh, Charlie, even wow. if you get to a certain point, they send in the COINTEL Pro. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. They send in the COINTEL Pro mm -hmm. for the Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Black Panthers, they was revolutionary, you know what I'm saying? Um, Edgar Hoover, you know what I mean, with the COINTEL, whatever you do in the States, you're going to have little spies and all them, but if you bring that power here into Africa, mm -hmm. they're like, what took you so long? Yeah. Ah, like, <laughs> build your thing, yeah. buy your land, <laughs> ah. Wow. Yeah. You have lands here, right? Oh, most if definitely. If you want to get that, you also help, right? Oh, yeah, most okay. definitely. Most okay. definitely. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, in Instagram, yeah. it's, it's, it's natural. It's bush. I like nature, all right? Mm -hmm. We should get back in tune with nature because what? Nature is the most okay. high. Nature is God, all right? Wow. So, yes, uh huh. So, if you're interested in that, there's actually still many, many plots around, mm -hmm. okay? Um, if you need the validity, you can definitely send me an email. Mm -hmm. I can show you, okay. you know what I mean, my paperwork, the process mm -hmm. I went through, mm -hmm. things like that. You can contact me okay. most definitely. Okay, so share your final words to the viewers before we leave. Yes, so family, gotta get this wisdom, gotta get this knowledge, gotta get this divine understanding, man. Peace, peace, peace. Love, love, love. Know thyself, know thyself, study thyself, use your time wisely, use your time wisely, okay? And come over here because the indigenous that's already here, man, they're waiting on you all. So come back, mm -hmm. man, fire blaze all that propaganda, put fire upon it, man, yeah. and, wow. and come over here to the wow. black continent. Do you think Africa is the future? Oh, man, Africa is the past, the present, and the future, man. Wow. Let me wow. be honest with you. Wow. Yes, yes, uh-huh, wow. because... Think about, bro, it, it's just so much that we've been taught, but think about it, it's just like, it's their way of how to uh, try to control you psychologically. Mm -hmm. But once you break those psychological chains, you then know that Africa is it. Africa is it. And then, regardless of where you are on the planet, when Africa is strong, mm -hmm. if you're a black person in Brazil, you in Jamaica, you in America, you in France, you in Germany, you in Australia, you in Papua New Guinea, you in Indonesia, you are strong all over... Africa is the wow. mothership. Africa is the motherboard. Wow. So when, when Africa is strong and organized, black people all over the world, that will change the social status of black people all over the world. Wow. Just, just hold up. Moment of silence. Hold on. Take that <laughs> in, man. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. talking. It's been powerful. Yeah. It's been very powerful. Now, if it's your first time watching this episode, please don't forget to like the video, share, 
and to friends and family to also enjoy too. Comment down below if you really did enjoy this episode. And he is Zaylak. He has a YouTube channel. Please, please go on his YouTube channel, like his videos, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more amazing content coming your way. And yes, thank you so much for watching this amazing episode. And yes, stay tuned for more amazing episodes coming your way. And thank you very much once again. Peace out.